Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can take advantage of the new natural language date filters that were introduced in Excel 2007. What are natural language date filters? Well, when we're filtering a list or a pivot table, we can come over in the drop-down uh, for filtering and we see date filters which include tomorrow, today, yesterday. Next week would be especially helpful to someone who is uh, working with an ex accounts receivable Excel workbook to see which invoices were scheduled to be paid next week or this week. Now for the data set that I'm going to use in this lesson, it's one of the uh, practice files, it's one of the Excel worksheets that I include in my new extended length video tutorial for pivot tables. And I had one of my uh, customers who purchased this was practicing and said, Danny, uh, I'm trying to use the new natural language date filter. So over here in the list, I use the drop down, come over here into the date filters, and I want to filter the records for yesterday. I click over here and nothing happened. What went wrong? Well, let's come back here. Let's clear the filter. And let's take a look at the data set. Notice that my earliest record, because I've sorted these, these dates in ascending order, is January 2nd, 2011. If I use the keyboard shortcut, control down directional arrow, you see that the last record in this practice file is July 30th, 2011. Control home brings me up to cell A1. The key to understanding the date filters is that it's always going to be basing today, next week, last week, off of the current date in your system clock. The parallel is the today function. The today function in Excel is a volatile function. It will always look to the current date in your system clock to return the result which is today. So as I film this, today is 11, in other words November 23rd, 2011. Tomorrow when I open up this workbook, the result of today will be 1124. All right, now let's come over here and take a look at pivot tables. Beginning in Excel 2007, we have a dramatically improved interface for pivot tables. We have a pivot table field list which has two areas. It has the names of the fields in my underlying data set. I can see which ones are included in the pivot table. And I also have the ability to filter from within this what I like to call mini dashboard. So within the pivot table field list over here in the pivot table field names when I click to the right I get a drop down filter. So I have label filters and value filters. Notice that I've not included date just yet in the pivot table. So let's make that change. This time all I have to do and this is great beginning in Excel 2007 it just click over here and it gets automatically added into the pivot table. Since it's not a number that I'm going to be able to, to calculate or, or to summarize, um, it gets put into the row labels. Now look at the drop down menu over here. In this case, I want to make it the outer row. So you see over here in the drop zones when you use the menu is they're navigational. Over here in the pivot table field name, now I can get my natural language filter. So over here, drop down, and for my date filters, in this case, I want to see the records for the last date in uh, this data set. Remember, it was July 30th. So what I'll do over here, I realize that today, tomorrow is not going to work because uh, the data doesn't go down that far. But if I come down here to the custom filter, now what I can do is I can say I want to filter the pivot table to show only the records for one particular date, 7 or July 30th, 2011. So over here with the custom filter, now I see only the records for that date. Now notice that I can collapse the detail, in other words the, the inner row, which is product, or if I come over here and right mouse click on the expand collapse, instead of expanding or collapsing for the record, I can come over expand or collapse to expand the entire field. Now again, I still have my filter applied over here, so let's remove the filter, clear the filter from the list, and let's remove date from the pivot table. 
Now, I'm going to do this as a follow-up lesson to show you how you can easily append records to a pivot table. So over here I have a new set of records which begin on August 1st, 2011. So remember that today is going to return the date for my system clock. If I use control down directional arrow, you see that I have records that go through today, 11, 23rd. So now over here, if I use the drop down natural language date filters and I want to see the records for today, there they are. If I want to see the sales for yesterday, again, use the drop down and I want to see the records for yesterday. It's yesterday in relation to the current date in your computer system clock. And that will apply to your pivot table as well. So I'll come back here and I'm going to clear the items from the pivot table. So there you've learned how to take advantage of the natural language date filters either in a standard list or in a pivot table. Tomorrow I'll film another lesson where I will show you a great way to be able to refresh your pivot table automatically when you take advantage of the table, set your um, data set up as a table. And just a reminder that I have a new 90-minute series of video tutorials for pivot tables. I make them available on a DVD-ROM or you could also purchase them as a downloadable product. In either case, and they come for Excel 2010, 2007, 2003, you get the workbook of the files that I use in the lesson and also a, a, a PDF manual of the step-by-step -step instructions. So I will look for you tomorrow when I continue this lesson and show you how to quickly append records to an underlying data set. See you tomorrow.